what's up, you crazy YouTubers? This is Mike from the network coming from the home office with YouTube and Star Tiger in the background. So it is a, a TTM video. I only got a one spot today, but I wanted to talk about autographs, so I'm going to show 10. Uh, I'm going to go through some old stuff and get that logged and put away, but I did get a new one, and they are all John F. Kennedy related. If you guys have watched my channel, you guys know that um, I collect stuff associated with the events of 1963 in November, uh, before and after anybody associated with that, and I've got a bunch of stuff to show you. But I also have uh, one that came in today, also John F. Kennedy related, and I've got to cover up the address because this person does not want their uh, address known, and she also does not sign memorabilia, but I've talked to her privately, and she was kind enough to sign a book plate. But if you guys know anything about the events of 1963 and the Kennedy assassination, we will recognize that last name. Yes, that does say Zapruder. Now, of course, the famous film shot by Abraham Zapruder. Uh, this is his granddaughter, and this is Alexandra Zapruder. Uh, again, she does not sign memorabilia, um, but she was kind enough to sign this book plate for me uh, for Archer in hopes that you will inherit and be inspired by your father's love of history and that you'll make a, your own meaningful mark on the world and sign that. So that is pretty awesome for somebody that's associated with um, one of the most amazing uh, pieces of film footage um, ever shot. So um, let's just jump right into this. I've got a stack here of John F. Kennedy related stuff that I'm going to show and here we go, ready for a history lesson, guys. Uh, Fort Myers. This is uh, Timothy Cheek, United States Marine Corps. Signed the first day uh, issue that I send to everyone. And of course he was a pallbearer in the Kennedy funeral procession. Signed that one and signed my letter, which I'm going to show you first. And again, some of this stuff has been sitting around a long time. Um, sounds like you keep very busy. Um, thanks for your interest. Coming down, the uh, coming down the steps, I'm left front, which will make sense when I show you this picture, signing the third picture. Of course, this is uh, Kennedy leaving the Capitol Rotunda. Um, front left, Mr. Timothy Cheek. So, again, um, you know, I write to these people because they are part of history. They are not celebrities. They were just doing their job, most of them, and just some of them at the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> uh, Richmond, uh, Virginia. Focus. Focus. There we go. Uh, this is former Secret Service agent Winston Lawson. Sign the back of both or all the photos. There's the first day cover, the Dealey Plaza photo to Archer, Winston Lawson, and here he is pictured with President Kennedy. I believe that's Winston right there, and sign the back of that one. So very cool, Secret Service agent. Uh, next one. No postmark, old Spider-Man. Again, this has my old address. Some of this stuff has been sitting for quite some time. Uh, this is Sue Santel, and she was a witness. She was in the Neiman Marcus building on the fifth floor uh, for Archer. Uh, best wishes. And she had a view of the motorcade. Sue Santel, and in memory signed the first day and she wrote a nice little letter here which is pretty cool um, just talks about you know she was on the fifth floor and had this basically the same view as the alleged shooter uh, she says alleged because we'll never know the real truth so um, very cool always awesome to get a first hand first hand kind of a account of history from somebody that was there. So uh, next one coming from uh, Spokane, Washington and got a nice little extra here. 
but this is Sue Vogelsinger, and she signed the first day cover here, and signed the Dealey Plaza photo, and she's actually pictured in the red, like, head, head bonnet thing. Um, this is President Kennedy on uh, one of the battleships. I don't remember which one that is. But she also sent a nice little note here and include an extra, which is awesome. This is from an envelope from the Pre uh, Kennedy headquarters for um, Kennedy for President headquarters, which was in Washington, D.C. from the time of the election to the time of the inauguration. Uh, so this is something that she sent extra. Um, nice piece of history there. So uh, Sue Vogelsinger. Uh, next one. Um, Omaha. Uh, Dennis Chapin. Another member of the, I believe, United States Marine Corps Color Guard uh, was at the Kennedy funeral. Sent a little different picture here. Uh, this is, of course, the Eternal Flame and the first day issue. So, get another person that was at the Kennedy, Kennedy funeral. Looks like Minnesota. And this is George Barnum, uh, casket team pallbearer at Kennedy Funeral. Sign that photo to Archer. And sign the first day United States Color Guard, uh, uh, Coast Guard, retired. And sent this photo and included a note, which I've already responded to. Uh, would you please send me a couple copies of this photo? Thank you. I always love when they do that um, because, it, you know, I love helping them out. But um, subscribe to Archer, but this is a color photo, which is pretty rare, of uh, President Kennedy's casket being carried out of the White House. So he is in that photo and wanted a couple copies, which I would gladly provide to him. So uh, that one. Uh, next one, Atlanta Metro. This is Hubert Clark. Again, another part of the casket team. Uh, to Archer from Hubert Clark. Uh, John F. Kennedy, Paul Bearer, November 22nd, 1963. And again... Same inscription on the Dealey Plaza. And of course, the first day issue. Sign that one with the inscription as well. So, pretty awesome. Another member there. Uh, this one coming from uh, San Diego. Uh, this is Ron Bond. And he signed that one to Archer, Ron Bond. And he was. Uh, Worked for CBS News, and he was the first person to get the wire that President Kennedy had been shot. And, of course, he was the one who got Walter Cronkite on the air, which, of course, is the famous, you know, he didn't have a lot of channels. Um, inscribe that one to Archer, CBS News, 1911, 22, 1963. Of course, anybody has seen the History Channel, you know, Walter Cronkite, broke the news that President Kennedy had been shot and Ron was uh, one of the first people to get that wire so uh, pretty cool there uh, another person this is coming from North Dallas Texas area and let's see that's my letter did not sign that one uh, this is coming from Robert Burton and let's see he Worked for KLX, KXOL Radio, and he signed the back 
but he covered the assassination and then also the assassination of Lee Harvey Oswald, and he also attended the funeral of Lee Harvey Oswald. Uh, there was not a lot of people there, and he was one of them. So he was gracious enough to sign these photos. And with the KXOL radio, attended funeral of Lee Harvey Oswald. So um, some pretty cool inscriptions. And he is now deceased um, since I've written to him. He has passed away. So uh, rest in peace, Mr. Burton. And last one coming from North Texas. This is a pretty cool return. Uh, this is W.E. Rusty Robbins. And... So I sent this photo inscribed to Archer, and he inscribed uh, with the shotgun. So that is Mr. Robbins right there. And sign the Dealey Plaza photo. And retired with his badge number. And he was a Dallas police officer. And he sent this photo also uh, to Archer, W.E. Robbins, retired. Uh, 1391 was his badge number, and uh, Lee, of course the bottom photo is Lee Harvey Oswald in the morgue, which will make sense in just a minute, but he sent me this nice long typed out letter, which is awesome, uh, basically explaining his first hand account of the day um, he was home on the 22nd, and when he heard President Kennedy was shot, reported to duty, uh, he was assigned to Parkland Hospital, and um, he goes into telling a story of um, watching Jack Ruby shoot Oswald, and uh, you know he knew Jack Ruby. Uh, said he wasn't friends with him, but he knew him because uh, Jack Ruby basically owned a pretty well-known strip club there and he liked hanging out with <laughs> with the girls at Jack Ruby's uh, strip club and Jack Ruby liked hanging out with the police officers so uh, it's a pretty cool first-hand account and he signed that and he said um, I was in 52 years I was the fourth person to write to him uh, so he took the time to give us a first-hand account and um, he was assigned to Parkland Hospital where he helped load uh, the body of Lee Harvey Oswald into the waiting hearse um, for the funeral. So, But he goes into telling the story of Jack Ruby, and that's uh, pretty awesome. So uh, that is a big video. Ah, phew, that felt good. Uh, to talk autographs, I've been writing stuff, sending stuff out. It's just not coming back in the big groups I'd hoped where I could talk about something. So I had some old stuff and it felt good to get this stuff talked about, video logged, and now I can put it away. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed a little history. Uh, like you guys know, I love my my uh, Kennedy, Kennedy collection that I have going. So anyways, uh, rambled on enough, Mike from the network. Oop.